watch your head on some of these points. So Jasmine, so this used to be the pressurizer, so you'd have uh, the reactor coolant. Um, this one was heated in there to get a steam bubble that keeps the rest of the body of the reactor coolant at high enough pressure to still boil. Uh, water head limits, what you call it, pressurized water reactor. Yeah. So the water going through here was 500 degrees, so that water 500 degrees, this was about 1700. And then it would go through the core to give about 30, it was about a 30 degree delta T, which is about the same as every commercial plant. Uh, raise it up from inland to out 30 degrees. And then, so these are the steam generators, Jimmy. So, oh, wow. Yeah. So oh, cut out some of the risers. So the generators, oh, you can see better over here. What can we looking for? So we have this clamshell we opened up. You can see it. So that's where the U tubes were, right around oh, right. there. So eventually, we'll take out the scaffolding, we're putting fake U tubes in there. So we took out all the primary U came out with their contaminated thing, right? Everything else is clean. Yeah. The steam would come up through these risers, down covers, and they go out through the main seam. Wow. And is this top section going to be, what, moisture separator? Or no, I think it's, they, they probably, I, you know, I asked the same question, they don't know. I didn't know if it had some chevron in there or something for a moisture separator. But, um, yeah, basically it's the steam, where the steam's going to go, and it has any moisture in it, right? They'll put that down, and put that, and they're going to get reheated. It's got to have some kind of separator. Well, look at these center yeah. um, tubes there. Sure. So this is a neutron shield tank. This is where they did the fuel transfer up above. The neutron shield tank down below. You can kind of you can peek your head and just look down. All right. So so this where the RPV was right in the middle of this reactor pressure vessel. Okay. So the the, the, the yep. You got the reactor vessel's gone now. All yeah. Right. We pulled that out. That's where the hot light would go through, or hot light or cold light, right yeah. there. Yep. And so this, so this is the primary shield tank. Yeah. They called it they called it the neutron shield tank from here below. Okay. So above well, this, they call it the fuel transfer tank. So when okay. they redid re refuel, they would do it up in this upper section. They only redid one ride at one point. I'm surprised uh, this is not as quite as big as I was expecting. You know, because I'm comparing it to an SAG reactor, right? Which is tiny. Actually, SAG's tiny. SAG was like a 55 gallon reactor. 55 what? gallon. Yeah, it was that small? Unless you saw something I didn't see. No, I was on a S6G. Oh yeah, I was AG. AG was pretty small still. Yeah. I think we did a hundred, I think it was a hundred and seventy-five bigger than, I think it was hundred and seventy-five megawatts, I think. Six oh, years. oh, you gotta remember, this thing was enriched at three percent. Oh yeah, no, that's why yeah. I was expecting it to be so much larger. Oh, I gotcha, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I guess if also... Yeah, we were 98 percent rich in the Navy, right, so we had all the money and all the super strength stuff, so. Yeah, so that's an escape trap to get out, there's another one in the back, and now we're just starting to put all these new stairs and ladders in for tours. So next time, this, this level is going to be dropped down on Monday. Uh -huh. We're going to have a ladder going.